Hi, this is Bill from e and What I'd like to talk about today is the logo uh, up to version 8 now. Siemens invented the logo many years ago and uh, started out just as a basic relay replacer and it's, it's gotten more functional over time and now it's based on Ethernet. It's got a built-in web server for the Internet of Things and uh, although it, it's, it's got more capabilities, it's actually gotten to the point now where the, the software is still the same and in fact that's one of the uh, hidden advantages of, of Logo is its uh, Logo soft comfort. Let me show you that. So here it is, and um, to program the logo, it's kind of a hidden gem in the automation industry. We just kind of take inputs, stick them up on the screen. If I were to take an output, stick it on the screen, we just kind of tie them together, and I've just created a relay. So when the input's on, the output's on. So the logo has uh, four 10-amp relay contacts on it, so we've actually created a relay right there, and built into the logo soft comfort is a simulator. So to test that logic, I just turn on the input, we see the output come on. You can do it down below here as well. Um, let's make it a little more interesting. Let's say that this uh, input push button is controlling a fan and we want to make it, for example, a whole house fan or an exhaust fan of some kind where when we push the button it's going to turn on the fan and it's going to stay on for an hour or so. Um, let me go ahead and grab a timer down here. You see all the different functions on the left here that the logo can do. I'll just grab it and bring it up there on the screen and double click it. And for our simulation here, let's just do five seconds on that pulse time. And um, to edit the program, all I really need to do is just go ahead and click my arrow there and click what I want to edit. And I'll just take the wire that was connected to the output and run it through the timer first. Connect the wire from the output of the timer to the output on the logo and simulate that. Now when I push the button and turn it off, it's actually turned on the fan and it's sitting there running for five seconds and then it stops. That's kind of neat. Um, essentially that the, the logo comfort software is like that where we just drag things and, and connect them up together and then away they go. Um, one of the neat things about the logo is actually that front display on there. It's um, programmable. We can actually put in variables and so forth or text. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. So to do that, I'm just going to grab what's called a message text block down below. Bring that up there on the screen. Um, logo can now actually have remote uh, displays and touch screens and stuff. I just need to do the local logo display, so I'll click that. And for example, let's say that we work for an electric service company, Shocking Electric, how about that? Shocking Electric Service, that makes sense. And we can put our phone number up there. See what that looks like. Um, I'm going to connect that up to a, to an input that's always on. So we just do a status one bit, put that up there, connect those two together. And now we see what happens with the simulation. Just now I get this pop-up screen, which actually would be showing on the front of the logo. It's got uh, the name of my company and the phone number. If they've got uh, somebody opens up the panel in the future and needs to call somebody, they'll have it right there. Um, once again, we still have our timer working. Let's put another display up. Let's say that um, while that fan's running, we want something to show how long it's got to go. Um, we can do that by just grabbing another message text. Stick that up there. Make sure we're just doing the one display. And everything that's in our program that's displayable up there on the screen shows up in this block area. So if I click on that, it shows me the pulse time remaining. I'll put that up. And we'll just label that. Click that. And this time let's do something even a little fancier. Let's, uh, the, the backlight of the new logos, we can actually change the display color. So let's actually make, get some attention here. Uh, the flags that we can actually use have some labels in them. 
And if we look down here, that the logo amber backlight on the is M28. I'll just click that, connect all these together, turn our simulation on, and look at that. We've got a nice orange output, amber, and then it goes back to our standard display when the fan's off. Pretty neat. I suggest you get a hold of the software and play with it just like we're doing right here. It's, it's real easy to do. It's intuitive. We've got the simulator so you don't have to wire anything up. Um, once again, Bill from EMM. Thanks.